You're joining us here at the Nomera booth where I'm, I, I'm surrounded by Nomera colleagues. Uh, we'll be speaking with Mark in just a moment. But first of all, Bernhard, thank you very much indeed for joining us here at CPHI Worldwide. Um, tell us a bit about Nomera. Tell, tell us a bit about what's been happening and the areas in which you're operating in at the moment. So Nomera is a, a drug delivery device manufacturer and, and design company. So we are operating uh, basically in, in, in five uh, main franchises. And uh, if you want, you can, can give you a little bit of a picture on, on the areas we are operating in. So inhalation, parenteral, ophthalmic, dermal, um, and, uh, and, um, and nasal. So these are the five franchises we are mainly operating in. Um, we, are, we used to be a manufacturing company, now strongly focusing also on early stage development and design. We had a design house, or we have a design house in, in France, in La Verpierre, uh, with about 100 design engineers developing new drug delivery devices for our patients and our customers. We have now recently um, acquired a design house in the US because we didn't have a design footprint in the US. Uh, we acquired uh, effective August 1 inside product development in Chicago, which is 45 minute driving away from our manufacturing plant in, in Chicago as well. So it's a good, good proximity between from early stage development into clinical to, to full scale manufacturing. Uh, so now we can also well serve our US um, uh, clients out of Chicago. Um, and and uh, in addition to that, uh, this design house brings also a, a very strong capability in early stage development, so design research, uh, uh, user experience and human factors, which Numera did, was not so strong before. So now we can offer that at a global, global scale to our customers, which I think is a, is a nice new offering um, uh, we, are, we are having since August this year. Indeed, we'll come back to products in sure. just a moment because you've got one or two new products that you'd like to showcase Absolutely. to us. But I'm, I'm going to spin around to Mark here, who's come all the way from sunny or, or probably quite windy Chicago at this time of year. Um, tell us a little bit more about the, about the capabilities and about what it is that, that your team's able to bring to the Nomera uh, table now. Absolutely. Well, as Bernhard mentioned, we're really, really concerned about the front end of innovation for the most part. So. That starts with understanding patients, um, who we're designing for effectively through our design research capability, which includes getting into the environment of use, observing them, interviewing them, to understand that full journey, that whether it's in the patient's home, whether it's in a clinical environment, may include healthcare professionals. What does that journey look like over time? Incredibly powerful way to understand the needs of all these stakeholders so that we understand what to most effectively develop. We can use that early kind of roadmap to ensure that we're making the right decisions about what technology we might select, um, how we might modify it, setting requirements, um, looking at ways to enhance that experience with connectivity, instructions for use, packaging, and so on. Very powerful foundation, we believe, for our pharmaceutical clients to to take this and, and sort of move into development where our integrated capabilities in user experience design, engineering, with now a tie to commercial manufacturing, allows us to serve, serve our customers and most importantly the patients throughout this entire journey through life cycle management. And it is very much about the end-to-end -end journey, the, the, the end-to-end -end offer as far as Numera is concerned. And you know, you, you talk about uh, putting patients first, but what strikes me is that you really are at the first part of an engagement with a patient just to make sure that the products that are being designed, developed, delivered really, really do meet their needs. Absolutely, and, and as I mentioned, that starts with really walking in their shoes, being in context with them in the first instance, and then throughout development, we continue to engage with them in human factor studies, which I think are a little bit more well understood, but we're constantly ensuring that we're putting their needs and the clinical stakeholder needs first. And we believe in the end, this results in safe, effective, and differentiated combination products and services that can support them. So, speaking of, thank you very much, Mark, speaking of differentiated and uh, products and services that meet the needs of their customers, Bernard, let's take a look at uh, one or two of the products that you're showcasing here this year to talk about that innovation and about how it all strings together. So we are currently launching a product called Safe and Spray, which is a, a new device for high potent drugs, uh, which might be harmful for patients uh, when they overdose or take too, too much of the drug. So we have now a device which is a, a basically a, a locking device, uh, basically blocking the use of a device for a certain time after usage so people can 
can, with a, with a fingerprint, uh, log in to the device. Um, and uh, when using it, uh, there is basically a, a several hour blocks that the patient cannot overdose. So it basically helps, um, so I can use that, so I can dose now. And when the dose is taken, I cannot dose again. So it really is significantly improving the, the compliance and the safety for the patient, specifically for high potent drugs, opioids, for example, that could be, could be the sort of products. Um, and uh, we have more and more requests uh, on that side. So it, it doesn't come only as a mechanical device. We have an electronic device with a reusable feature. So it's basically a, a disposable uh, pump. Uh, with an ele electronic device which is, can be sustainably reused. Yes. Um, in addition to this product, um, we have also launched uh, a cloud solution helping our customers uh, to get access to data collected by these devices. So these devices are connected via 4G, 5G directly with the cloud. So it doesn't go via mobile phone, so the, the user wouldn't have to worry about Bluetooth connection. So it goes directly to the cloud. And we are offering now a cloud solution um, which we call Inamera Cloud, um, to allow customers to, to basically directly access data collected uh, by the devices um, and, and reuse the data for patients, for healthcare providers, for insurers, but also for themselves uh, to get a better understanding. Data would be, of course, anonymized, um, but so this cloud solution has been just launched. We have a demonstrator in the corner there, um, so to, to, to show to interested customers uh, our capabilities in, 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 uh, in, in this area as well. You know, it's a really interesting journey that I feel we've just been on over the last five minutes or so from the very early stages of product design and understanding the patients to uh, delivery of those products and then kind of life after the product itself in terms of data and how that can continue to have uh, benefits to your customers. Tell me, is this, is this the direction that you see more and more healthcare products going in in terms of uh, getting more value from the data that they're able to provide just by being able to join up the dots a bit more. Absolutely. I think the, the value is, of course, in the drug, in the drug delivery, but also in the, in the data, collecting the data. Uh, how are patients using the, the drugs? It's not about the device. It's really about the drug. It's be about behavior, understanding what makes them use a device. What are adherence rates? Uh, so very important uh, in the commercial phase. But also in the clinical phase, these uh, electronic information are more and more important uh, because sometimes clinical trials fail because uh, adherence rates are not where they should be. Uh, with these types of devices, you would know if a product was taken or not. So you can basically sort out non-valid data points uh, from a clinical trial, which helps our customers to make clinical trials more successful. So there are plenty of areas of opportunities for, for collecting the data. Um, in, um, in, in the pharmaceutical industry. So we are pretty excited about that, that we have now as, as a platform which we can offer to our, uh, our customers um, and, and happy to work um, in clinical but also commercial operations um, uh, in, in, in providing electronic solutions to them. Well, listen, uh, fascinating stuff. Thank you very, very much indeed for joining us, Mark and Bernard. And uh, I wish you all the very best of luck for the rest of this year's show and indeed for more connected products like these going forward. Thanks again. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. Thank you so much. Cheers.